Hello everyone, in this video I will show you the instruments. That will be a really cool one. Okay guys, so here are all the instruments we will see in, in this video. The first instrument I want to tell you about is just a pencil. I used it all the time, it's my most used instrument. Probably you know how to use it, but I will show you anyway. So uh, at first I just uh, draw kind of a really rough skeleton of the letter. Let's write the word uh, chill. Let it be. So I do multiple strokes to get everything really nice and straight. Okay, here we have uh, a skeleton of the letter and then I just start building up some volume here, some... Okay, something like this. I know that this line should be a bit bolder than this connectors. Don't forget about the dot above the eye and let's make a connector here like this. And we can even have an understroke here. Okay, here it is. Sometimes I even uh, stop at uh, this point, uh, take a photo and start vectorizing my work. Through time, uh, when you use your pencil a lot, uh, your uh, tip will not be the same as it was before, not so sharpened, so you will need uh, a nice sharpener. Uh, there are a lot of types and everything, the ones that you uh, insert and uh, rotate your uh, pencil, but I really like this one. This one is really cool, you need to press the button, insert in here, and it's really cool to just rotate it, and it's fine, and the tip is super perfect now really recommend you these types of sharpeners. Okay, uh, we've got a little bit uh, of mess here, probably from a sharpener or something. Uh, the next nice tool to have is a nice eraser. Uh, we've got uh, a little bit mess here, probably from uh, the sharpener, so we get, can uh, wipe it and well, am I seriously teaching you how to use erasers and pencil? But anyway, we're getting a full video of everything. So, for example, you need to make the C a little bit better and you erase it and make a little bit better. I have this uh, cool looking black one, uh, but if you thought it was cool, what do you think about this one? Yeah, I got an eraser shaped as a tiger. Isn't it cool? Let's try to wipe it, see how it works. Yeah, it works pretty nice. Yeah, <laughs> how cool is that? Okay, let it sit here for a moment. Okay, here is our C. And uh, the next, my uh, favorite instrument is just a Sharpie. I really like those markers uh, because they cost not much and all you need is just to fill everything in. Okay. Most of the time you don't really need some super fine details and you can just draw it like this. I like Sharpies, uh, but they are not my favorite ones uh, because uh, they can cost something like a dollar or less, but uh, there are stuff uh, like this, just a regular CD markers. They are like dirt cheap and at the same time, the tip is a bit pointy, 
here so you can get nicer details and can fill in really quickly but at the same time get some nice details uh, I recommend you to get a bunch of uh, just some really cheap markers because uh, when you will start learning lettering uh, you will see that uh, S sometimes uh, the instruments can get pretty pricey and you will uh, sit and think like um no, okay I probably shouldn't use this one for practice it costs like five seven dollars uh, come on just get a bunch of cheap ones and once you get better probably you will need the better ones but there is nothing worse than a marker that just getting dried a little bit and you're stuck and then just just doesn't feel uh, really nice to draw with it so i just buy a bunch of this this uh, this comes in uh, a pack of two so you get uh, a black one and a blue one and they are like 50 cents or something so really recommend you to buy a bunch of cheap markers. They are super nice. Well, if we are talking about cheap markers, uh, I also really like this one's, uh, well, this is for like chorus, but basically these are the markers for kids because you can fill in pretty quickly but it can also be used for nice calligraphy because uh, there is uh, this uh, tip uh, like a triangle it's kind of a like crayola uh, so you can draw like this uh, not perfect but we can fix it quickly okay and actually the nice thing here it has uh, two ends and on the second end we have a really finer tip than the first one so we can get nice details like in here or erase this stuff here and make the bottom of the letters perfect yeah really like these markers okay uh, the second uh, marker is uh, also for kids I really like it because uh, there are uh, a lot of variations of how to use it. well not really a lot but like two <laughs> but that can be enough uh, let's write uh, some nice letter S so you start like this, like this, and like this. Okay, so you see, uh, depending on the angle, it has two uh, widths. So, yeah, like this. And when you turn it a little bit, you can get uh, much finer details and perfect everything. Or you can use it like draw a shape first and then fill it in quickly yeah I really like uh, when the lettering doesn't take a lot of time I really like uh, to work a lot and I don't uh, like when it takes like one two three four five hours I want to just draw 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 and draw and if it takes more than 15 minutes um, I just want to move to something else or something so i really like when uh your markers uh, do the work really fast it just doesn't get boring okay the next marker uh, i want to tell you about is uh, like this so it uh, has and this really flat end flat tip and it's used mostly for some calligraphy stuff so it can draw really thin lines and really thick ones okay and it's used for some calligraphy let's just try to draw some 
letters. Uh, let's do it like the letter M. Ooh. Didn't do that for quite some time. I got interested in calligraphy, in this modern gothic style. It's uh, not really, it's kind of out of style for now, but it was pretty cool like three, four, five years ago. Yeah, that's the letter M. And this marker is really cool, really like it. The next marker is uh, this one, calligraphy adding. The difference here, it's basically the same, but the tip is a little bit bendy. So, can get some nice details as well. You can use it for calligraphy, but I like to use it a bit differently. So when you uh, turn it around uh, to the end that uh, is really thin, not the bold one, you can get some nice grungy results. Oh, see, it's not perfect, but we can fix it. Yeah. So it has some nice tex texture and really like to use it for something grungy. Okay, let's change uh, the paper now and I will tell you about the brush pens. Okay, the tigers here is guarding my letters, so everything's fine. The brush pens. There are a lot of brands of brush pens. I really like this ones from Edding. They just sent it to me and probably <laughs> That's why I like them, I didn't pay for them. And uh, basically the brush pen is a pen that is like a brush, well, really. <laughs> uh, you can get really thin lines and if you put a little bit pressure, you will get some bolder lines. Thin lines, bolder lines. And you can get different ones when you put the pressure or change the angle actually. Uh, so I use it something like this. So when you change the angle and everything, I will tell you more in my practice course. But yeah, this is one of the most popular modern calligraphy and lettering instrument. Okay, the next one is uh, this brush pen from Aliexpress, it's pretty cheap and you can you need to get the ink uh, inside this container here and then put a little pressure uh, to get the ink to the tip of your brush and start drawing. You can draw some nice stuff like this. Okay but I really like to use it uh, in a bit different way. When you draw much quicker, uh, well, let's just write the word A as well here. So you see, you, will, you are getting uh, a real nice texture here. And uh, when it's, uh, there is not enough ink to cover everything, you will get this texture. And I really like it it's for some grunge stuff. Really cool. Okay, the next uh, trick I wanted to tell you about is how some of the letter artists use uh, brush pens. Uh, you will need uh, to get some really uh, light ones like yellow. Uh, I'm out of yellow for now, but I've got this orange one. It uh, will do the trick as well. And you need to draw something really quickly.
uh, something like this, for example. Or, well, let's to make it really nice. Yeah, well, let's say that's the word, uh, that's the letter C. And after you draw uh, that letter, you can start outlining it. And you see the difference in in strokes. Some are bolder, some are thinner. Yeah, it's pretty uh, tough to understand when you draw it uh, just using your pencil or something, uh, where to exactly put uh, more volume and less volume. So if you want to make something hand lettered but uh, perfect it a bit that's a really nice trick also you can correct if something is wrong so for example I wanna make this one a bit bolder but as well I will know that we will have this part here Boulder too. Yeah, that's how you make uh, perfected handmade logos. Uh, okay, I also uh, wanted uh, to show you some cool trick I learned some time ago. Uh, so you will need any marker, but we will use this one. Uh, and well, let's write the letter M. Okay, pretty nice letter M. And then you can get this gel roller. It's basically a, a silver gel pen. And you can get inside and draw some inner strokes yeah that looks really cool so uh, if you want to add some variety use some gel pens they cover uh, the lettering really nice so you see it's completely covered the next big uh, section of markers is the markers that uh, you need to push a bit to get some uh, paint or some kind of this chalky stuff. This one is uh, uni chalk, really like it. And you can draw really nicely, it's made for uh, I got messy a bit. And that's fine. This one is made for chalkboards and uh, anyway you can use it uh, on any type of uh, lettering uh, because it's really uh, has a really nice cover. So you see here I'm completely wiping this A and there is nothing. Yeah that's cool. Okay, really like this uh, marker as well. I use it in our uh, practice videos. This one is also uh, paint, but something like great on dark surfaces, uh, glass, metal and plastic, but you can use it anywhere. What I like about this marker is uh, the perfect color. You will uh, always uh, get the perfect color when you get enough ink in here or paint or whatever. So the color will always be super perfect. Okay, didn't really uh, tell, um, tell you about uh, this liner I have here. It's used uh, for making really fine details. So let's try to make, well, let's write perfect letter A.
using our pencil and then the details are super fine uh, there are different uh, widths of these markers uh, starting from like oh one millimeters to one millimeter I guess yeah that's how you get super nice details but I'm not a big fan of uh, liners because I like to do everything really fast but you can uh, correct something really quickly let's make well let's make the A as well something like this and now you can get finer details on the edges yeah I see sometimes people uh, draw a piece like this like really big one and fill them in with uh, just the liner and spend like an hour or so on that come on guys just get the marker and fill everything in and also uh, there is some uh, texture when not everything is perfectly uh, filled in and you get this texture ah uh, come on just use the marker and uh, make your texture super perfect just don't waste your time uh, you can make uh, five pieces uh, during the time you just fill in something okay that's it for my markers collection everything else is um, more or less uh, similar to what we used here okay quick resume get a bunch of really cheap CD markers or sharpies or whatever and just start drawing just draw as much as you can buy some markers for kids they are pretty cheap as well uh, and get the nice results uh, pretty actually pretty cool to use I just like uh, the feeling of it get the different kind with the different tips also super cool just don't stop drawing uh, probably get uh, one or two paint markers uh, sometimes you will need them uh, get like one micron or something just don't get uh, a big pack of it one will be quite enough and uh, get a nice sharpener get some nice eraser and a bunch of uh, pencils and that's it that's it you don't really um, well actually you can get some uh, brush pens as well uh, but don't waste too much uh, money on them because you can draw some really cool nice letterings without using the brush pens most of the time in my work I just use this marker and a pencil and that's it okay stay tuned for the first letter letter A it will be the next video see you there